Um, so to start a question for both of you, you're both kind of playing very well-known historical figures um, in American history and everything. Everyone knows who Ronald Reagan is. Was there any kind of hesitation in anything in taking on those roles, knowing? Yeah, yeah, there was because it's it, like you said, everybody knows him. He's like Muhammad Ali. Everybody in the world knows what he looks like, acts like, it you know, uh, sounds like, and so uh, it's kind of daunting. I didn't want to do a Saturday Night Live impersonation of him either. You know, I wanted to play a real person and play him from his point of view, and getting to. You have the public face and the figure, but, you know, getting down to how he might have felt inside about things, you know, along with the vulnerabilities and uh, the insecurities that we all have in life, you know, to go through that uh, things we overcome. And so it took a while to get there. Going to the Reagan ranch was uh, really what made my decision because I could feel him there. He really did do all the work there. He really did. Uh, a, a, he was not a rich man, and which I really came to find out. I mean, it, uh, their house was, what, 1,100 square feet? I couldn't believe Nancy wanted to go there. <laughs> yeah. They had a king-size bed, but it was two twin, twin beds that were zip-tied together. Yeah. Oh, really? Their Very clothes are in the closet. and slept modest, just like it was. Modest. But, you know, that was his sort of as one would call his safe space. I think that's where he felt the most himself was at that ranch with the horses, building yeah. the fences. So Nancy would go there because he loved it so much. She learned how to ride because he loved to ride. All mm. of those things. But that's kind of the beauty of the movie to me is seeing uh, what made him the man he became and where, where what were his beginnings. And She was devoted to him too because I don't think that the, the ranch was really her kind of place. No, naturally. No. I think she'd rather have you know, with Betsy Bloomingdale and yeah, and, yeah, be in know, Beverly the Hills. <laughs> sure, but she did. She, her, her love of him was so in, in great, which is which is a great thing about the seeing in the movie and what we learned when we did our research. They had an incredible love story, and he appreciated her so immensely, um, especially after his first failed marriage. And and he wrote her love notes every day and. Um, they had a beautiful love story. Um, and I think that's what made him the man he was too and became president was because Nancy was there. Sure, yeah. And I think that really comes across the movie in an interesting and profound kind of way too. I think it's it's awesome. Um, speaking of riding, Dennis, there's a bunch of scenes in the movie where you are riding on horses. Is that, that's actually you doing it? Oh, yeah. I, I think that's my butt in the saddle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can ride a horse. <laughs> oh, I can ride a horse. <laughs> I was going to ask, you have to learn how to do that? that I refined it in the movies. So, and uh, yeah, for sure. You know, Reagan, the, they say he wrote, wrote English, which, it, you know, everybody thinks he like rode Western. Western, but it was, he really wrote English, but it wasn't really English. He, uh, he really wanted to be a cavalry officer as a young man. And that's the way he learned to ride. So much like the Seventh Cavalry in a charge. Yeah, interesting. Huh, I didn't know that. Um, and Alfie, you also have a bunch of really emotional scenes in the movie. I think one of the ones that come to mind is when you rush to the hospital after the assassination attempt, and you kind of have to. You're going through a lot. What was that? That's like? What's great about this movie is you get to go behind the scenes and be a fly on the wall to all that, that stuff that you wanted to see, but the news coverage was going on. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I was fascinated. I mean, so short af shortly after he won president, uh, pres the presidency, and they had just been newly into the White House. I think it had been barely a year, right? And to have that happen to him, I mean, you, one can only imagine um, the fear um, that runs through, you know, anyone. I'm sure the, the masses as well as Nancy, his wife, of losing her, the love of her life. And um, and even that that scene that you talk about, it is such a beautiful scene because, you know, she feels guilty that she wasn't there by his side because they were always together. And she said, I always walk on your left. And he's like, but then you would have been shot. at." I mean, it just to me just shows how incredibly devoted they were to one another. And and um, and, and it, it, even that just seeing her um, feeling guilty that she wasn't there for him at, at this horrible 
moment, um, but that he made it. And anyway, I think that, thank you for bringing that up. I, I think that's the beauty of this film is that that love story.